My name is King Ivy, and this is Introduction to IDEA Data Analysis by Caseware. This is Lesson 6 in an 8 lesson set on the Introduction to IDEA topic. In this lesson, we'll be learning how to create, modify, and remove fields. The data sets that we're going to be using are the Customer Access Database that can be found on this Dropbox link, and I'll also include it in the description below. So let's get started. So we're going to import the access database very similarly to what we have done before. We're going to scan all the records. We're going to call it customer. Press OK. And then you'll see the customer files that we have. Credit limit, status, country, last name, first name, customer number. So we are going to be on the data ribbon, which is different than our last few lessons. And we're really going to be focusing on these sets of menus. Append, Modify, Remove, Find, and we're going to be focusing on the first three. So let's get started. So what do we really do with these fields? Fields are the, essentially the columns. So let's say, for example, we want to create a new field. And say it's, um, uh, for example, we want to figure out who our first customers are. And our first customers uh, may be, for example, the ones that have customer numbers starting as one. So we're going to have a field called first customer. And we're going to make it, so what a difference between a virtual, editable, and a normal character is that a virtual character is basically a temporary field that we can add or that we can delete as well. So we're going to make this, in this case, we can make it a Boolean state. And we're essentially going to say, uh, we, can, we can use various functions here. We're essentially going to use very similar to Excel. We're going to use this left function. And we're going to go custom number. And then we're going to go comma 1, because we want to look at just the first character. And then we're going to make it equal to 1. And then we check check the function. Looks good. And we'll say, um, if true, it is a first customer. And if it is not a true, then not a first customer. So we'll press OK. And then you'll see it's created a check mark where it's actually false. So in this case right here. So really useful function. Uh, we're gonna again, we're gonna go back and create another field. So let's go back to the append. Let's add a new field. Let's call this one um, expected sales. And say expected sales is a and we're gonna make this a numeric. And say expected sales is really based off the credit limit. So we're going to go down to credit limit. And then we're going to say times 15%. Uh, so we're going to try times 0 0.15. So we're saying that we're expecting sales of 15% of the credit limit. And this might be useful for audit test where you're developing an expectation, creating a new value, or if you already had, say for example, you had some sales and you already had a tax field, tax, tax value, you can use that to calculate the expected taxes. So you, again, you see 15% of 14,000 is in fact 2,100. So really useful. Um, say for example, now we're gonna use the modify. Actually, I'm gonna quickly go back to the append and walk through the different different types of fields. So we have character, that's your standard string string field. So that'd be used most commonly for first name, last name, country, anywhere where you have text, numeric, anywhere where you have values that you would logically add together or perform some mathematical function to. Uh, date, obviously the date. Uh, time, the time runs on a 24 hour clock. Um, does hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second, uh, boolean, again, that yes, no state, and then there's the multi-state. 
and then you also have your virtual and editable characters. So really useful to understand. So you can see for numeric, you have to imply the num number of numeric decimal places that you want. If you're having character, you need to define the length. So again, really useful uh, to know how to perform these functions. We're going to use modify. And what we're going to do is say, for example, I wanted to run some field statistics on customer number. But what you'll see when I run field statistics, customer number doesn't show up here. Only credit limit, customer, and expected sales. That's because customer number has to be uh, a numeric field. So we're going to modify the field. Customer number, and we're going to change it to numeric. And then we're going to press OK. Perfect. And then you'll see that it slightly modifies. Uh, it doesn't modify the Boolean, but realize it can have an impact. So you'll see there, now when I go to field statistics, I can see uh, the value in the customer number. And oftentimes you'll use modify in case you've imported the data incorrectly, like you've imported numeric as a character and you change it back to check the field statistics, or you need to summarize in a different format, or you need to change a, a date field from a character to a date. So lots of different functions you can perform. Say for example, I want to remove some fields, but the tricky part right here, if you read right here, uh, non-virtual fields cannot be deleted. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to create a virtual field. So we're going to call this, um, let's call this, uh, let's call this um, Denmark, Denmark customer. And we're going to create a virtual character, and then we're going to say, and we're going to use the function, we're going to use these conditional functions. We're going to go if, so we're going to name the first function, we're going to go country, and we're going to so country equals uh, obviously Denmark. If it's true, this is very similar to Excel. Very, very, very similar to Excel. So if anyone, if you guys like Excel, this is a really, um, idea is a really great tool to build off of. Again, we create it. I'll have to put the length. So in this case, I'm just going to put three. Just because I know that yes is the longest word, and that's three characters. So we'll go there, and then we can sort it, create an index, and then validate the data to see that, in fact, these ones are, are Denmark. Say, for example, um, I don't really find that this particularly useful field. What you can actually do is go remove, and then you can see that selects the virtual characters. I'm going to go OK, delete the field, and it's all gone. And then what you'll use this find function is it's not particularly useful in this example, but say, for example, you had 50, 60 fields, which isn't entirely uncommon. Uh, what you can do, especially with more complex systems such as ERPs, you can click on this, and it'll bring you to the appropriate column. So it really helps you find, find the appropriate data. So modifying, creating, and removing fields, and also finding it. Very simple to use, but a really powerful tool to help you build out your analysis and to build out your, your capabilities. So again, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below, and I'll look forward to hearing from you in the next lesson. Thank you, and have a great day.